Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Legacy Football. Six box, half case, pick your team, number four. No vet common ship, a lot of fun stuff here. There's a, a big group of, we've got a big list right here on, our, on my whiteboard right here. The only base rookies to top load are going to be Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith, Justin Fields, Mac Jones, Kadarius Toney, and Najee Harris. But obviously all rookie cards will ship. All the other guys will still ship. Big thanks to everyone here for filling this up. No fillers here, straight up. It's Monty with the Patriots. Last spot mojo. Thanks, Monty. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, no love for basketball tonight, I guess, EA. I think all the basketball collectors are probably watching basketball. That's what it seems like. All right, remember I marked these four so we all know it's from the same case. And speaking of basketball, we got Memphis at Utah. The Grizzlies are in Utah. Just game, just started. Utah up 5 2. You would think, EA, you would think during this time of year it'd be a two screen day. One screen for Jaspies, one screen for the game, but. Uh, maybe everyone's attention is just going to be on basketball, but I feel like I feel like you can do both. We have Court Kings basketball, folks, by Panini on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Brand new release just dropped today, along with this legacy and uh, and hockey too. We got some hockey new releases as well. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, I remember that Griffey break, Will. Well, yeah, I think we did make it up for PJ this time. Hey, he kept getting his ABs in. Got a big monster hit. Wasn't there a, speaking of Donovan Mitchell, wasn't there a college basketball player I feel like I saw in the tournament whose name was, was like Devin Mitchell? Is that, am I th remember, remembering this correctly? But it was like Devin Mitchell and his jersey was D. Mitchell and he used the same number as Donovan Mitchell. Someone confirmed that. There's Will's favorite player, Jersey and Auto, Rashad Bateman. To 399. Uh, I have no idea where this guy goes. I do have a checklist open though. This is my preseason. I gotta learn. Gotta learn all the players. Ravens. That's just one Bateman out of the first seven boxes that we've done. Right, this guy's kind of important right here, too. There's Trevor Lawrence. That's for the Jaguars, of course. That goes to Will. Right, Ravens, Justin. Indeed. Seventy-seven out of one fifty. Jalen Hurts. And a mini CD Lamb. I don't know, probably Rex. Not too worried about it. Still like four months left in the season. <laughs> Top 
top of the deck. Kyle Pitts for Atlanta. That'll be for Reed. Ooh. EA is ready, uh, ready to sell. He said, I'm about to sell a 2017 Patrick Mahomes red power out of, nine, out of 49 prism that graded a PSA 10 that we pulled for him. Ooh. What are, what are we looking at at, uh, at price-wise? Have you done some researching? What are you asking? What are you looking for? There's another Kyle Pitts, Chrome this time. There's Dick Buckus to 100. Trey Lance. Uh, that's for Cassie Adamson and the Niners getting the Trey Lance. 60 to 80,000 on that one. Wow. Nice. Are you going to. Are you going to go through an auction situation or what? what, what is your strategy? And there's Devonta Smith, rookie card for the Eagles. That will be for Taylor. Thirty-six out of one hundred. And we'll do a recap at the end too. Oh, there's a Mac Jones. Let's save that. And there's Patrick Jones, the second rookie card, to 150. Mac Jones, of course, goes to the Patriots for Monty. So you're thinking PCWW, right, and sell it closer to opening. Yeah, that, I was just going to suggest that. Probably no rush until we get closer to the beginning of the season. All right, Blue Mini, Elijah Molden to 50. And we've got Michael Carter, a t former Tar Heel. And Michael Carter goes to goes to the J E T S Jets Jets Jets. So that'll go to Adam Kupperman and his Jets. Yes, would love that. We'll we'll definitely be happy to uh, definitely be happy to tweet out the link to the auction once that's once that's there. There's Raheem Mostert to 299, and we're good friends with uh, the team over at at Leland's auctions as well, Jalen Waddle. If you want to, we can put you in touch with them too. All right, next box. Jalen Waddle, of course, goes to Miami. He's being reunited with Tua. Taylor has the Dolphins. Wow, you got some nice Mahomeses. Get a little more water, folks. BRB. Mitchell talking. It's feeling good.
Yeah, I mean, just in case you just want to price things out or just have an alternative or whatever. Definitely help you with that sort of stuff. Yeah. Hey, you did the work. You got into those rakes, EA. I'm glad you held on to that Mahomes, too, because I probably, at the time, probably wasn't nearly as much as it was at the time. I think his value has only steadily increased over the years. That's a sharp play, holding on to those Mahomeses. He didn't even play his rookie year for most of the season. So that's a sharp play. Just holding on to it. I mean, he played like the last game, maybe. Then you held him through his rookie of rookie year of the year campaign. Held it, held it through the Super Bowl. Held it through the second Super Bowl. And now, yeah, now it's reached a really nice point. That's why we play the game, folks. All right, second box of the break. Good luck. And we've got, there's, speaking of Patrick Mahomes, there he is. And there's Dayami Brown. Redskins goes to the Washington football team, John Birch. Isn't that crazy to think about? I mean, Alex Smith was still there, and they, everyone, a lot of people were like, who is this Mahomes guy? Who is this guy? Right, because EA was searching Kareem Hunts mainly. And that certainly was the chase. I think Mahomes, people really didn't didn't really think about him until the 2018 season. What a story. There's Stefan Diggs to 299. All right, you just never know. And we got a Kyle Trask, two-color jersey and autograph. Trask, of course, went to the Buccaneers, right? Yes. Goes to Tampa Bay. I mean, <laughs> a lot of people not liking the Trask pick. But he can marinate behind Brady for a season or two. He can learn a lot of things. Buccaneers, Diego. Well, I mean, what was the scouting report? I'm trying to think. Does anyone remember? I'm trying to think back to... Uh, oh, look at this. Dare to Tear. Joe Thomas. So I guess there's one per uh, inner case. Two per master case. Cleveland Browns. Glenn with the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. So... You can tear this. It could be. There's a mini card inside. It's Cole Beasley to 150, and another Trevor Lawrence rookie card. Obviously, a lot of these could be will have value. Of course, it's Trevor Lawrence. First card in a major Panini set. And that grades out nicely. I mean, if, if Glenn's in the room and he wants me to tear it, I, I, can, I can do that for him. But he's got to be here. To 199, uh, Jalen Darden. I don't... I mean... You think Tebow starts? I say no. I mean, it'd be a great story if he beats people out in camp. There's Elijah Moore, rookie, to 100. But he's been out of the league. 
And I know, I know he's still being, he was playing baseball, he was still being, doing athletic stuff. But nine years away, seven, ten, seven, eight, nine maybe, nine years away from the game, he would come back as a tight end, something he should have done, you know, eight years ago. I can't imagine he's going to make the 53 man by the end of, by by week 1. Let alone let alone start as Jalen Waddle and a cracked ice Javante Williams 10 out of 25. I know Urban just can't let him go. I can't he, he can't quit Tim Tebow. I'm sure he's a good locker room guy, but can you the the first like the first big the first block he has to make against some like some young pass rusher In the first game or two that he gets put on his butt he's gonna be like nope <laughs> he'll make a business decision <laughs> by late August there'll be a press conference I'd like to thank Urban Meyer for giving me the opportunity Justin Fields, of course, goes to the Bears. Jeff Hen with that one. Let's see if we can find some, uh, maybe some ink. We'll do a left-right randomizer on that. And we got a mini DK Metcalf. And Kyle Trask, Kyle Pitts. Right. If Tebow comes back, does that set the motion for Luck to return? No, I don't think that's related at all. It's not like Luck needed Tebow to return for him to return. I don't think Luck Luck looks at Tebow and goes, "Oh, I'm jealous." Luck chose to chose to walk away. It's not like Andrew Luck was like ineffective in football like the way Tebow was. We sure did, Jack. Brand new release. We got the Court Kings. No one wants it though. We haven't re we haven't really been selling a lot of spots. I think all the basketball collectors are uh, probably watching basketball. Will thing and people are sleeping on Trask. Yeah, I mean, Trask could marinate behind Tom Brady for a season or two, and then they can fit right in. Rick Thomas, do you ever send cards off to grade for people? Yes, we do. We do have that system in place um, with our partners, Mark's Cards. So we were doing that for a while until PSA stopped grading temporarily. So once they come back, I'm sure we'll we'll start up that partnership again. There's there's details still on the site, I think. If you maybe scroll around jazbeescasebreaks.com, maybe it's on the bottom of the page. You'll see a section that says PSA submissions or something like that, and that'll give you all the details you need. Travis Etienne to 299. Wait, so how, how did you how did you mean that's how I read it, Rex? There's Devonta Smith for the Eagles, Taylor with the fly Eagles fly. Is he gonna be a receiver? They say he's gonna be out of the slot a little bit more. Panay Sewell should reveal a Zach Wilson. Yes. See, we've been noticing these patterns. Adam Kupperman. 
I don't know when PSA is supposed to be back in action. Another month, maybe? We got a mini Rashad Bateman. There's Aaron Jones to 299. Packers, that'll be for Eric H. And a blue mini, Ray Lewis. What time is it? Game time. Kind of hard to see the number right there, but it's 42 out of 50. There's Jamar Chase. Aaron Jones, orange to 199, and Trey Lance. More Trey Lance for, for Cassie and the Niners. And this is more for the Packers for Eric H. Jamar Chase going Cincinnati. That'll be for Taylor. That wasn't even a hit, Will. And there's a Zach Wilson blue. There have been rumors of Luck returning for a few years. Just wondering if Tebow comes back, if Luck decides to give it his shot too. Not because he was waiting for Tebow. But you're, you're kind of connecting it to Tebow. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I think, I don't think it matters. 49 out of 50, Zach Wilson. And there's a Chrome Justin Fields. PJ saying, don't shoot the messenger, but according to the PSA website, we expect to take a tiered approach to reintroducing these services beginning on July 1st. So that's according to the PSA. Maybe I'm understanding it wrong, Rex. But I think, I don't think Tebow has anything to do with what Luck's going to do or not do. There's Sage uh, Surat. Sage Surat, is it Surat? K Surat, Surat. Whatever will be, will be. The future is ours, you see. K Surat, Surat. Detroit Lion. That'll be for Patrick Davis. Justin Fields to Jeff Hen. We have not seen, I don't want to get people's hopes up, but we have not seen any of the sort of big quarterback names autographs out of here. At least not in these group breaks. We got Christian Barmore. Barmore. Patriots. You're saying, Rex is saying, let's say you're planning a comeback for a while, but weren't sure. Then you saw someone else make a comeback. Would it make you want to do it even more? I don't, I still don't think so. I still disagree because, because Andrew Luck chose to walk away. I, I don't think, 
Tim Tebow did not. People just stopped signing him. But I think he always wanted to do football. So I don't think that's going to motivate him, saying, all right, I, someone else is making a comeback. I want to make that comeback too. He initially walked away from it, so I think the situations are a little different. I guess every year that goes by, I feel like that comeback's not happening, though. I think when he first retired, I was like, oh, he's going to be back next year. And then when this after the next year went by, then I was like, oh. Every year that goes by, I feel like the, the chance is less because he's not going to get signed this summer, I don't think. As for Tebow, I think he always wanted to play football. He always wanted to play. But football didn't want to sign him. Oh, what a shot. So then he, he, just to keep playing something, that's that's why he went to baseball. And like was and then was just like, oh yeah, someone wants me in football, I'm down, I'm there. He, kept, he was still hungry for football. I don't know if Andrew Luck was as hungry for football. I don't think he's coming back anymore. Initially, I did. I was like, oh yeah, definitely coming back. There's Kyle Trask, 35. Another Justin Fields. And Anaji Harris for the Steelers. Michael Gallucci. Right, yeah. He had to wait until... Right, I mean, I don't even know if it's a comeback, to be honest with you, <laughs> for, for Tebow. I mean, I don't think anyone was waiting for, like, hey, when's Tebow going to come back? Because there weren't, like, people lining up to sign him. It wasn't until Urban Meyer. There's Kyle Trask for the Buccaneers. It wasn't until Urban Meyer got to Jacksonville where all of a sudden Tebow had a spot to, to try out for a job. There's Henry Ruggs for my Raiders to 50. And Sage Surratt Surratt. I just looked up this guy. <laughs> where does he go? Another auto for Detroit. I don't think it's a big deal, Tim Tebow. People just like talking about him. I think sometimes the the sports media gets up in arms because like, oh, he's taking some young guy's spot. You know, I was like, I guess, but the people on the team don't seem to mind. It's time for some straight talk. You can't work if everyone's up There's Mahomes, eight out of ten for the Chiefs, the X line. Zach Wilson behind Panay Sewell. Maybe he's blackmailing Urban Meyer. He has compromising pictures of Urban Meyer. Give me another chance in football, Urban. Or else this manila envelope and copies of these photos are going to go to every major media outlet. He's like slipping manila envelopes underneath his hotel room door. There's Denzel Mims to 75, 46 out of 75. It's Kyle Trask. Trevor Lawrence. Lance Briggs.
There's Lance Briggs. Did Tebow put on the size to play tight end? But he hasn't played any kind of competitive football in, in how many years? I feel like the first time some, like, 21-year-old defensive tackle just blows him up in practice or in a preseason game, Tebow's going to be like, <laughs> and going to be like, all right, all right, I got to make a business decision. That's it for me. <laughs> I'll be like, that's it. No thanks. I guess maybe he won't be blocking. Maybe it's just he's just out there to pass catch. Neon Dion Sanders, five out of five for the Atlanta Falcons. Reed with the train whistle. Out of fives and under, get the ding ding. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Here it is. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. Get some surprises in Legacy every once in a while. I dig that. Here's a uh, Kyle Pitts also for you, Reed. Mini. the breaks like Sage Surratt. There's another one, orange this time for Detroit. That'll be for Patrick. There you go, Patrick. 199. Type T Tim Tebow images and look through them. That's a little creepy, isn't it? No, those those shoulder pads are huge on Deion Sanders. I think that was a thing back in the day. Big shoulder pads? Maybe Surratt is this year's Cole Komet? It's possible. Jazz up by 10, beginning of the second quarter. Justin's like, he, he, was, he wasn't using those shoulder pads to tackle, that's for sure. Right. Primetime doesn't tackle. Primetime just gets INTs. Oh, oh, oh! Isn't that what isn't isn't that what basically Vanilla Gorilla wanted me to search though, Will? It's getting that tight end body. I mean, if I search if I search Tim Tebow tight end, who knows what I might get from Tebow fan sites? Vanilla, you're moving back to Detroit? Just moved to Southern California. I'm pretty sure Vanilla Grill, you wanted, Mike, you wanted me to search Tim Tebow shirtless, didn't you? To 100? Pretty sure that's what you said. Tim Tebow tight end? Gee. I have to clear my search history after that. Micah Parsons to 100. It's 2021. It's not a big deal. Kyle Pitts for the ATL read. Alan Robinson. Right, I can't search Jake Butt. Tight end. It's 
That's Allen Robinson for the Bears. Jeff Hen. Yeah, who knows? Vanilla Gorilla. I've done the, uh, too many of these hour-long breaks here. No, hey, listen. I believe that Tim Tebow is put on put on the size, but how old how old is Tim Tebow? There's Trey Sermon to two ninety nine. Mac Jones, rookie Chrome. When sending a text at 3 a.m. So were the releases too close to the draft this year, and that's why the guys filling the college stuff? No. This is intentional. I think legacy has traditionally been, at least the last few years or so, has traditionally been like the first release. It used to be classics, I think. But they turned into legacy. So they just want to get a product out there. So that's why they're in their college gear. We're going to see them all in college gear probably through Luminance maybe, through Origins even. No, Origins might be their, in like September, might be their first pro uniform. Or maybe there's a set or two before that. But there'll be a handful of sets throughout the summer. That'll be college gear. Yeah, score will have them in college gear. Uh, Legacy, Luminance. Maybe a couple other products will be like that. Some people don't like the college stuff, so they'll just pass on everything until they see them in their pro uniforms. Some people still join breaks and collect. And then they say, just sell it right away before the pro uniform stuff comes out. There's a lot of different strategies there. SPX sold out. Cool. There's Justin Fields for the Bears. Let's go. He's getting too excited. You have to look at the schedule, Mr. Steven, so you'll know when that's going to happen. It's not going to be for a while. There's a Tylen Wallace, dual relic and autograph. Seventy six out of two ninety nine. Tylen Wallace. William Wallace. I can fight. I know. I know you can fight. But it's our wits that make us men. It's been a while since I've watched Braveheart. Quiddy Pay. Trevor Lawrence. And last box coming up. First, you must learn to use this before you learn to use this. As Uncle Argyle saying that. Hot William Wallace, French and Latin. Allegedly, I don't know. The, mu the movie's not very historically accurate, I think. <laughs> That's good. It's entertainment. Not a documentary.
Rudy Gobert is like, ah, ah, ah. Foul job, Morant, but still. That's bold for John Morant to go up on Rudy Gobert like this. ladies and gentlemen we've got Chuba Hubbard all right I'm gonna say it after four, after four of these breaks we got to find like a Trevor Lawrence auto I want a Zach Wilson auto here somewhere come on I mean no disrespect to Chuba Hubbard for the Carolina Panthers which I'm sure who has Carol which I'm sure Eric Leal is happy to get, Eric. There you go, man. But I'm kind of looking for Trevor Lawrence autographs. Zach Wilson autographs. Trey Lance autos would be nice. Is that too much to ask? I know, respect, right? If we're even, if we're even trying to dunk on Gobert. That's true, Vanilla Gorilla. I know I'm going to get you for Christmas. I'm going to get you a bunch of Matthew Stafford Ram stuff. All right, there's Kyle Pitts. Chrome. Trask, more Kyle Pitts. Kyle, Kyle combo. Josh Allen to 299. Trey Lance. We're getting a lot of nice rookie cards, but get some makeup in this. Cassie with the Niners. Cassie's thinking the same thing. Where's the Trey Lawrence autograph? Adam's like, where's my Zach Wilson auto? Will Driggers is wondering, where's the, where's the Trevor Lawrence? I don't know what's happening here. Adam's saying it seems like uh, big name rookies are just few and far between in general. I guess that makes the value of the big name rookies a little bit better, but... At least one. Come on. One of the big quarterbacks. You know, this is something I can get on social media. And a Mac Jones autograph. I'll take that. Well, no, he just declined. He just declined those presents. So none for him. You, why don't you screenshot that you can keep that ha 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 part. He doesn't want it. Rejected. Off the table now. All right, Mac Jones for Monty and the Patriots. Zach Wilson under the under the lights. There's that great Interpol album. Turn on the bright lights. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna give Will confirmation bias, Adam. Come on. He already thinks that. All right, there's Darius Slate and Mini. There's Jamar Chase. Blue Mini, not a blue Mini like in Yellow Submarine, but blue Mini. Twenty one out of fifty. Denzel Mims, blue for the Jets. That's for Adam. Rex, his fav favorite player is Lions edition of Matthew Stafford. So if you want to send him gifts. Samuel Cosme to 299.
Is that it? Did I pull all the hits? Is there one more here? That's an autograph right there. All right. Behind Stefan Diggs is a rookie, but it's not a quarterback. It's Raven Jordan. I was hoping for a different kind of back. That'll be for Houston. The Raven Jordan, that'll go to Jerry Bennington. Sorry, Jerry. I kind of was just, for me selfishly, I was just looking for a quarterback to pull, but I'm happy that you got that. So that'll be for Jerry in Houston. And let's do a left-right randomizer, then we'll do a recap. Alright, so let's go back to some new dice right here. We'll put left right on the randomizer roll it randomize it four and a four hard eight side on top gets those cards one two three and eighth and final time goes to the left side there you go left side right there and here is the recap Mahomes to 10 was pretty nice too. A lot of rookie cards here that can be can be graded. There's that Zach Wilson blue. But autograph wise, I'm being told that these are and there's the Dare to Tear card, Joe Thomas, Kyle Trask RPA. Alright, there you go. That was the second half of that inner case. I think the next break will be from a fresh master case. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Go and get it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.